I came into it, it wasn't, I wasn't seeing like everything that's going on now. I was catching the back end of it. And it was at the end of a very, very, very long war, whether it was just a civil, civil war or world war, I don't know. By the way, you are in FEMA Region 8, just, just so you know. Go ahead. Eight. Okay, thank you. I'll remember that for next time. <laughs> well, it's good to know where you are in the former U.S. because admitting that is half the battle. Oh, yeah, I'm there, definitely. definitely. No, no, I'm saying we got to explain to the public. When I say deep behind enemy lines, I mean, I'm not joking. I'm in occupied New World Order, former United States. They now plan to mop up the media and the rest of us. So, I mean, oh it's, just, it's just full on. And, and, and the enemy's operation is so over the top, only admitting the full horror can stop them. Go ahead. Well, that's why I, I keep thinking of this dream, because in the dream, there was really nothing left. I don't even know. I was still there. Now, whether I was in body or there in spirit, I don't know. But there was definitely much less than 5% of you the You know, it's funny. In, in my whole life, I, I've had dreams that come true, sometimes 10 years later, sometimes 10 years later, sometimes a week later. And I've told people about them. They don't happen very often. They're always very upsetting. You feel like you've been somewhere. It's very scary. And I mean, nothing really scares me, folks. These dreams do. And sometimes it's like I'm walking down a path I've never been on, and a guy comes out and mugs me. And they're wearing the exact shirt. It's the same guy. Uh, or uh, a family member dies, you know, stuff like that. I've had, uh, I've had a recurring dream that I would have when I was first about to get on air in about 1994, 95, of trying to get somewhere in the Texas Hill Country and pulling up on Mexican trips at a checkpoint and having to look at my rifle and making the decision, and I'm going to leave the rest of the dream alone. And I remember even in the dream, I was like old, my back was hurt, not real old. I just remember I was a different person. It was like the dream is so advanced, it's like you're even smarter in the dream. Like it's in a, you know, like sixth dimension, able to time travel, they think in the brain is what describes that phenomenon of pressing at dreams of like precognition. And then I'm getting the rifle and making the decision because I've got kids with me that I've got to go ahead and because I can't go where they're taking me. And there's the knowledge they've been... Uh, no, that's a hypothetical book I'm writing before the New York Times picks it up. I'm just joking. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, anyway, my dream, the, the strange thing was there really was, except for one low-level spy, there really was not any um, New World Order left. That's not to say they weren't underground in some of their deep underground crystal palaces or whatever they have down there. But uh, there was one... Uh, older man looked like a professor guy still wore a cardigan sweater and he was a spy but he didn't really have anyone to report to so that was the strange thing but what was even stranger was uh, like i say this had probably gone on this war or craziness complete dismantling of civilization for oh, no 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 the official british M ministry of defense report you're absolutely right from 2007 predicts total collapse and and just mass death by the billions just type in uh, flash mobs, brain chips is our future. London Guardian wrote a big article on it. You can read the full report. And it's just incredible when you actually read it for yourself. And now the Pentagon says, but that's the plan, but they want to stop it. No, no, no. They tell the compartmentalized Pentagon people they're trying to stop it so they don't understand it's being engineered. Just like troops killing drug cartel people don't understand they're compartmentalized, only taking out the rival cartel of the Federal Reserve. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. so, so, well, so, I mean, is this a prescient dream? Have you ever had prescient dreams before? Yes, and a lot of times they have come to pass, and I'm, I'm hoping this one doesn't. It stuck with me a long time after I had it. But, but also what was unusual was, even though, uh, and people were beyond homeless. They had, there were still some buildings standing, but people had just been nomadic for so long that homeless wasn't even really a reality anymore. Everyone was just so used to kind of traveling in packs or solo. But at the same time, there wasn't Well, a that's lot why everybody's buying food and getting weapons and everything, is they can sense that things are collapsing, things are being shut down by design. Things are, and, and, and I mean, literally, most of Latin America and Africa is what you just described. So, so there's tiny islands in Europe, some of the Middle East, some areas of Asia, Russia, and North America, Australia, New Zealand. Everywhere else is literally dead bodies on the ground, skulls, armed gangs running around, and people just living in huts being bitten by mosquitoes. And, and you know, uh, salons predicting America will collapse. I mean... 
they're all preparing us for this while they survive it in armored compounds and redoubts above and below ground. And that's why we've been warning everybody. God bless you, ma'am. And, and, you know, everybody should talk about this prescience. And, and, and I'm telling you, folks, I'm telling you that you don't have to believe I had that dream or not. And let's just hypothetically for the media say I was joking. <laughs> it's funny. I'm thinking about writing a fiction book along those lines. I really not going to start telling you what I really think, folks. It's just the point is, is that if you notice how, how we know about all this stuff, the point is, is expanding on all of this information is that we can change this future. That's only a possible future that globalists are trying to push. If we expose are the ones behind it, they won't shut down the rest of the coal power plants. Notice the Supreme Court ruled yesterday, kind of a half-hearted deal. Oh, you need to have a little bit of, you know, check with Congress. Don't shut everything down. Because shutting them all down will be too obvious. See, I mean, even though there's evil globalists in control, the average person in the system doesn't want to kill prosperity. So there's major forces battling here. And we don't have to have this collapse happen. But we got to admit it's coming to turn it around. I mean, look at this Texas State Police trying to stop the invasion. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that was good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Curious about what comes next? Next is the feeling of vulnerability you get after you arrive home to discover your house has been ransacked by burglars. Fool the bad guys with a new improved fake TV. You asked for it, we listened, and we made our new fake TV three times brighter than our previous model. The brightness of our new fake TV is equivalent to a 40-inch TV. It simulates the color and motion of a real TV while you're away from home. And when burglars think someone is home watching television, they're likely to pass your house and move on to an easier target. The new, brighter Fake TV is only $39.95 and includes free shipping. Go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. about the sixth dimension not being the dimension of time. I'm no quantum mechanics uh, expert, but the fourth dimension is basic time, straight line. Fifth dimension is a plane. Sixth dimension is like a cube where within this dimension you can move back and forth at different points. And that's how the scientists in mainline science have computers proving prescient dreams, things like that. 
the problem is there's so many quacks and kooks and, you know, uh, gypsy wagons on the side of the highway, uh, to use a term, conning people. It's not controllable in my view. But we now have computers that electronically off of our data, the Google supercomputers, uh, quantum computers that are able to predict the future in mass movements almost 100%. And if you're a new listener and think that sounds crazy, they've been doing it for years, but Amazon has now announced they can package your order and have it ready to ship before you order it and are because if you're a big enough customer of them and they have enough data off the internet, they know what you're going to order before you order it. So that's what we're talking about here. The human brain can do that too. Uh, just that we can't control it. Uh, let's go ahead in most cases. Let's talk to Karen in Arizona. Karen, you're on the air. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much, Alex, for doing everything you do. Um, we've been calling Jan Brewer's office to call out the uh, Arizona Rangers <clears throat> like Rick Perry did, and they're finding all the kinds of excuses why they can't do the National Guard, why they can't call out the Arizona It's a globalist Rangers. North American Union plan to collapse the country. You tell them you're going to vote them out if they don't put troops on the border and start turning these people back to Latin America. If they don't, it'll be a full collapse of Latin America through Mexico into the U.S. that will make this look like a joke. They want to wait till the crisis is unstoppable to bring in martial law using this. Absolutely, and that's why AP finally has had to admit it is on purpose. So, so, so you're calling Congress people, and they're giving you the runaround. Call, we're calling Jan Brewer's the governor, office, the governor's office, and she's saying, "Oh, she can't do that." She signed, and uh, I says, "Yes, she can. The Constitution gives her the authority to do that. She can do it. She doesn't need Congress to do it. She can do it on her own." And uh, so, and then now they're saying, after so many people call, well, we'll go ahead and get, take down your in input and give it to the governor. So maybe the next solution is people going with their American flags and placards and going down to the state house. No, no, I agree. The answer is going to these border patrol facilities, these holding facilities, with your own cameras and showing the world what's happening. And, 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 and the fact that there's real media will make the mainstream horror media cover it, like we've done with the enemy Operation AP. So, so yes, go to the state house and stuff, but more importantly, go show the VA collapsing and then go show the illegals being given a red carpet. God bless you. We just put uh, on TV screen uh, the governor's phone number. You should be calling all of them. You should be calling Rick Perry. He said some stuff, and he's quietly done some stuff. i got to say, it's actually a decent job having some of the state police down there. It's not a total stand down, but we need to get just full state guard. I mean, we need full. I mean, this is an emergency. I mean, no country's ever done this. This is the end of the nation. I mean, the, 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 this is off the chart. Pete in New York, you're on the air. Go ahead. Call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I was wondering, um, I saw a video on YouTube recently. Uh, it was basically um, a four-part series from Fox News that aired in November 2001, uh, which basically showed that Israeli intelligence has control over the information networks in the USA. Uh, now, this I'm not like trying to be like an anti-Semite or anything. No, I don't like care. That. I mean, I knew right when you started talking about the Fox News, oh, the, yeah, I was just the, uh, the uh, dancing Israelis, uh, the, uh, what's it called, the uh, Reserve Force of Israeli spies, I, I, they talk about that in there. I, I tell you what, we're going to break starting the next hour. I'm gonna come right back to you to finish your question, Pete in New York. Shouldn't have gone to you, only had a minute left. I'm gonna come back to you, then Mike and others, stay with us. We've got, we've got my old buddy coming on the transmission, who's running for Congress, Steve Lane, as we take action. Stay with us, we'll be right back. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.